a whole variety of materials to make artificial limbs in the 20th century. These days, the science has made a great leap forward. Prosthetic hands are now able to do pretty much what a real hand can. This is the eye limb, a prosthetic hand built with individually powered prosthetic digits. The old generation of electric hands had what I would call, if I can use my hands here, as a pincer grip, where these, these fingers are pre-flexed so they don't change shape and the thumb is one shape and they move like that in one plane. A claw? A claw. Whereas what we did was we produced something which rotated about the knuckles that could do this. Every finger, every thumb can be powered and moved separately, which gives a choice of grips and mimics a real hand. We've broken through the barrier of making a hand that has to look like a medical device. The eye limb is expensive. Making, fitting and training a hand costs between sixty dollars and $100,000. So how easy are they to operate? Sensors are attached to the muscles on my upper arm, just as they would be to an amputee. Just make exaggerated movements to your wrist. The key is to move through the movement so one muscle gets tight and the other relaxes. Goodness me, that's astonishing. I'm beginning to learn how to instruct it. Almost as important as the greater range of movement is the look. If you try and shake hands with an amputee who's wearing a prosthesis, it's an awkward moment. But I've noticed that people with the island hand offer the hand. They're proud of it. They're proud of it. It's so seductive, so cool, it features in the latest Will I Am and Britney Spears music video. Donald McKillop lost his right arm in an accident at home 35 years ago. He was one of the first amputees to try an eye limb in 2007. How, how's it changed your life? It's another hand. It's a hand I never thought I'd have again. You hear that? It's me changing the signal. I'm now open. According to Gao, there are about 4,000 ILIM users in the world, but the potential market is huge. An estimated 2 million upper limb amputees. Touch Bionics is looking to take its share. Sales are accelerating. In 2012, saw turnover reach over $16 million. But for David Gao, it's more than a business. I've seen hundreds of people. There's the the father that says, thank you. On behalf of his son, and um, you know, that means an awful lot. Because um, you don't, as an engineer, get many moments where you can um, articulate your um, human emotions about these things. We sometimes forget what vital and complex tools our hands are. It's been one of the great challenges of modern prosthetics to mimic them. In doing so, the next generation of bionic hands is transforming thousands and thousands of lives. <laughs>